Hey gang, Justin Seely back here with you once again with a cool Photoshop tutorial. This time around I'm going to be showing you how to create a realistic spinning wheel on a car inside of Photoshop. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we do this. Now, well, the first thing I need to tell you is this is going to be a Photoshop CC exclusive feature that I'm about to show you right now, and more specifically Photoshop CC 2014. We're going to be using something called the Spin Blur in order to do this, so let's take a look at how we can do it first thing I'm going to do is convert my layer to a smart object by right clicking and choosing convert to smart object. So I'm doing that for one very special reason because when I apply this blur to this layer I may accidentally blur some other areas and I want to be able to mask out those areas so that they remain the same while I have the spinning wheels moving otherwise. So now what I'm going to do once I have that converted is go up to the filter menu and go down to blur gallery and select spin blur. And once I select Spin Blur, it's going to open up with this default spin ellipse right here. And I'm just going to move this down to one of the wheels, like so. And then let's zoom in and we'll pan over so we can actually see what's going on in here. Now at the very beginning, you may find that this has different settings according to yours. It's, that's fine. No big deal. I'm going to walk you through this. So first thing we're going to do is come right out here to the edge of this. And I'm just going to shrink down the edge of the blur to just inside the black part of the tire and then I can reposition it after the fact and if you need to you can make subtle adjustments to this in many different ways but you just want to make sure that this is sort of centered up in the middle of the tire just like that and you can also make adjustments to the wheel like this if it's a little distorted or it needs to be a little distorted and so forth so I can just drag this one out maybe a little bit like that there we go okay so once we get everything positioned like we want we need to then adjust the settings over here on the right hand side so for the spin blur right here the blur angle I'm gonna crank this up quite a bit something maybe like 180 and when I do that it's gonna look really really crazy but don't worry about that right now then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna mess with the strobe strength a little bit and we're gonna crank that all the way up to about a hundred and when we crank that up to a hundred that's just gonna add in a little bit more detail there I'm gonna back down the strobe flashes to about one and then we're gonna increase the strobe flash duration and as you can see as I crank that up it's just going to make that look a little bit more like it's blurring out and you could play around with this I think a good setting here might be something like 14 15 something like that and so once you have that set the way you want, and again, this is totally up to you how you do this, zoom out a little bit, Command or Control minus, and then we're going to take this blur and we're going to duplicate it over here onto this wheel. And we're going to do that by holding down the Option key on the Mac, the Alt key on the PC, along with the Command or Control key, and then clicking and dragging this over. And you just reposition this on this wheel, same as you had on the other wheel, something kind of like that and you can kind of see looks like it's in motion and so once we're done with that we hit OK and that applies that to our image and if you want to see before and after here I'll just turn off the smart filter by clicking the little eyeball here's before and after so you've got that realistic sort of spinning look to these wheels and again you could adjust it any way you wanted to for your own specific taste but this basically adds a little bit of motion you could also probably throw in some motion blur on the car or things like that to make it look a little bit more realistic but for the most part we've tackled probably the hardest part of this process by adding in the spin blur on these wheels this is something that traditionally would have taken you a lot of time and effort to do but with Photoshop CC 2014 it is extremely easy all right, so that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to drop me a line in the YouTube comments here. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel for all the updates on the latest videos that I produce. Also, don't forget to check out my courses at lynda.com by going to lynda.com slash Justin Seeley. And you can see all of the courses that I produce there. And if you're not already a member, go ahead and sign up. It's a really good value for all the courses that you get, and I really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. See you next time.